Good morning. I'm Rick Ventura, head golf professional at San Luis Obispo Country Club here with our superintendent, Paul Barr. So today it's glorious, it's 85 degrees. All our grass is loving it, our kikuya and our greens, but eventually it's gonna cool down, especially in our uh, overnight temperatures. So today we're gonna be talking about what the program is so that our members are aware of how we're proceeding through the winter. And we are currently on the number nine par three tee box, which is one of our uh, remedies as we go forward. So the tee box that we're using for the men and the women uh, will get a lot more activity uh, in terms of the growth or the lack of growth. And so we're gonna start switching to this par three, which is a beautiful hole, about 165 over here for the men over the water. We think it's one of our better par threes and we just don't use it that often. So on those designated days that we're using uh, hole number nine as a par three, the golf shop will notify you uh, prior to you teeing off that that's what we're doing on that particular day. We'll program the, our golf carts to remind you as you approach 9T that we are either on our tees uh, over the water or on our tees that accommodate the gold and black tees. Paul's gonna talk about how we're gonna proceed with some of our wintertime plans. What we have is we have Bermuda now for our tee tops. Um, and Bermuda, just like Akuya, uh, will slow down um, and won't recover from divots as fast as we've been able to enjoy uh, in the growing season, call it uh, May through October. So with that, we have to be monitoring these areas. And so we're watching the areas where we're using Par three tees were built pretty big to accommodate that, maybe 17 being the only oddity in that area. But this par three tee is a nice alternate tee that allows us to get out here, allow the other areas to recover in the winter months so that um, we're not hitting off of uh, bare dirt. And now we're seeing sunlight early at about 7 a.m. and uh, here in the middle of October and sun going down, what, 7, 7 p.m. So, that, that in itself makes a big enough of a difference. And then when we start hitting frost, which is historically in November, um, then the turf will have another step in kind of winding down and going dormant. More so a dormancy of where it's not growing as quickly as much as the color. Mm. And so for those reasons, we want to be moving and rotating around on the alternate tees. Fantastic. And for the members, uh, for our white, blue, and platinum tees, we'll be working off of these two sets of tees. Gold and black tees, actually, will be in the fairway from about 125 yards.